Hey everybody, Brian with you from the game Come and we are playing more Civ 6, continuing with our Macedonia campaign, and, um, hmm, hmm, things are definitely not looking as good in this one as they are in our Japanese game, mostly because in our Japanese game we're not completely surrounded, we have all our cities, look, life is looking great, we are popping out a bunch of settlers though, which isn't the worst thing, do we still only have one governor? We have Amani as well. Uh, we don't even have provision on you, so it doesn't really matter. We don't want our cities to get too small, though. Where are we going to put the rest of these cities? I think we talked about going north, right? Uh, but we got a little bit of concern here. We also still need to knock out uh, 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 Krakow. He's got walls. What does this look like? Not terrible, actually. Uh, so we need a battering ram, which we are working on. Hmm... And do I have swordsmen? Oh, it's our unique unit. So we'll probably have to wait for the swordsmen then to pop out too. So we can upgrade our warriors. Alright. So we're a little behind schedule, I think. It's a little unfortunate. Um, loyalty might be a bit of an issue in this game too. So we might just have to start declaring war on people just for loyalty reasons. Uh, okay, keep exploring. Let's just see a little bit more. See, she took Yerevan, man. Hmm. She might end up... Okay, so we get, we're friendly with Russia. We're friendly with Scotland. That's good. Poland, we're going to wipe out, and then we'll probably end up wiping out Georgia at some point. I think that's probably our best bet. Uh, where are you potentially trying to settle right now? I don't know. I like the idea of just boxing him in, though. <laughs> we're trying to bring you back home so we can get you ready for this war. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We'll do this. Just keep the warrior around. We might want to just build out a warrior. Also, too, I would love for this to be done. Can we... What What kind of gold do we have? We don't have a lot. Do we have stuff we can trade? Because I'd like to get a builder so we can build some stuff a little quicker. Ah, man. I don't have one thing left. 215. So we'll be able to afford it next turn. Because we can get the uh, production going a little bit quicker here. By getting a couple of these stones. Yeah. That'll be fine. Okay. And so then once we knock this out, we're at least going to have a nice little uh, safe spot for our units. Like, we could put an archer there, and then our archer's not going to be able to get shot, and then we can keep doing damage. I don't think the encampment can shoot a city, though, if I remember correctly. Also, hey, Russia. Yo. I mean, we're out, like, we're friendly, so you can't, but just no. Just no. And I don't want to fortify you. Poland got Catholicism, okay. I'm just basically trying to, like, box this guy in as much as possible. Because I don't really want him to settle near the Delicate Arch. Go there for a turn. I think you're fine. Just come over here. Surely Russia's not going to declare on us. How many more turns do we got? Declared friends. Uh, It's under declared. 27 more turns. Never mind. We're good for a while. Okay. Hi, I didn't mean to click on you. Give me more vision. Thank you. And then we're basically just letting time tick right now, right? Pretty much. Do we have a campus anywhere? No. So that's kind of a problem, too. Unfortunately, there's not really a lot of science. Were we doing a science victory in this one? I think we were, actually. I think we we're going to pivot over to science. Now, our science per turn is 10, which is really bad. Russia has pretty decent science. Not quite sure why. They don't really get bonuses for science, I don't think. So, yeah. Don't do that, by the way. No. Just wake... Yeah. Skip. Skip. Wake up. Skip. Why? Whatever. <laughs> Dang it, game. So we're boxing in India. You can come here and fortify. Uh, we have enough now to buy the builder. Let's get uh, some stuff built out. We could even shop the stone, but our production's so terrible, I think we need to keep it. Probably, honestly, just put a uh, campus right here. Each of us is Surrounded by the rainforest. It's not the worst. Column. Or cutting a piece of stain. Well, that's a 2 2. And the yeah. Of Down to 13 turns. This is going to become a 2 3. That'll be fine. I thought you just passed through me. I was like, what? Skip. Oh my god. Skip. Skip! Why won't you friggin' skip? My gosh. I have no idea. I have no idea what's doing. You go here and here. Okay. I think we're good to bring you back home. We probably want to start buying some of these tiles just so we can start working it. 
someone mentioned that it wasn't like this isn't the best wonder to settle near so we could have like settled somewhere else i think on the sugar which yeah because we can't settle over here now this is all dead territory that sucks yeah just one here i think we have to settle on the horses we're gonna piss her off again but i think we have to i think that second one has to come up here as high as we can go just because we need to make sure we don't lose this territory the other thing is we might want to go over here but i think loyalty was a big problem yeah it's a big freaking problem what about over here? Yeah, maybe getting one up here isn't the worst. Like, one up here and then one over there. Something like that. I don't really care about the Delicate Arch. But it would be nice just to have it in our territory. Just to box someone else from getting it. You go here. You go here. <laughs> we're just... We're just... Uh, we're just having fun with you right now. I'm just screwing around with you. It's 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 okay. It's okay. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't have a cow. Okay, you're gonna grab that. That'll be okay. Uh, you have to settle her next turn and then settle her there. Once again, government sucks. We did get. We're an oligarchy, right? Yes. The world's a stage, and all you're going for alliances, which players. is gonna be okay. We also can put a city here. I think let's go get the city up here. The question is where? We got a banana. That would just be a 2-1 still. This is going to be a 2-1. This is not a Plains Hill. Nothing here is really super great. What about here? You can give us most of the Delicate Arch. It's also going to give us access to the uh, dies right away. We'll get a lot of faith. Because um, what we can do... What era do we end up in? We're in a normal era? Because we could potentially use the faith then to buy citizens at some point in the game. Yeah, let's go up here. It's going to be a little weak, but it'll be fine. Not really any other options for us right now. Yo, dude, get out of my freaking territory, man. Yo. Oh my gosh. Like, stop exploring my territory. Uh, you sit there, because there's no way you can actually enter that. Policy reminders. We want production all cities and production towards settlers. Probably still. Probably great rider points. We're doing science, so we really need to get stuff that's going to do science. But none of that helps right now. That's fine. What are we building in our capital? Another Hathora. So then the question is, do we want to switch, swap you out? Or Cav? What are the rest of our cities doing? I think we need to keep plus one production all cities. And I think we swap you and end up grabbing production towards cab units. Because that knocked three turns off. And I don't want to, like, I want to keep my gold. Because right now we're only paying two gold. We're paying one gold each for the Hattori. So that would be two gold right there. Plus then we have two archers. So that's another two gold. That's four gold. Which, significant. Actually, we have three archers. So that's five gold we'd be losing. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm good with that. Thank you for moving off my crap. Yo, shut up. I don't like you. You don't like me. I can't even build walls yet, so calm down. Actually, we can build walls. Uh, We can buy a battery ram now. So we need 260 for that. So hopefully some of our trade deals run out here in a little bit. Uh, Where was this barbarian encampment? I don't know. You can go over here. You can actually probably just come to home now. I think we're good. Where was that encampment? He's building the Petra over there. That's a little scary. Dude, Russia's gonna be a little scary. We might have to declare on them eventually. Yep. 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 So, we still don't have any of our crap back yet, right? I wish, uh... Actually, isn't there a way to see what we're trading off? Resources? I think there's a way to see... Current deals. There we go. Ha ha. Deals with the Georgian Empire. Open borders, open borders, open borders, open borders. We have... What? Are we not trading? Do we only seriously have one resource? Well, that's a problem. Well, let's get some builders then. <laughs> yeah, that actually would make a little sense because we really have only had one builder and that was a builder we captured. So that's probably why we don't have any resources. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I understand. Uh, hey, Jerusalem would be wonderful to be suzerain of. Thank you. So this should give us a bunch of amenities right now, correct? It says three for luxuries. 
which means we're technically getting two, correct? How does that show up? Does it show up here under resources? Banana, cinnamons, and cloves. There you go. There you go. And okay. So the question is right now, is the bonus that we're getting right now, the 5%, it's 0.5. Screw it. Screw it. I want a builder. I want a builder. Because we can get another amenity right away. So screw it. Here, take this. You're gonna pay me 238. You don't even have 238, and you don't want to pay me. You have that, so it doesn't matter. You don't have 238. All right, we're just going to then give it to Scotland, because I'm not going to give it to Poland. Although, if I give it to Poland, I'll get it right back as soon as we declare war. She doesn't have the money, so it doesn't matter. Uh, hey, Scotland, here you go. Give me all 238. I don't suppose you'd want to give one back. Just, just, just seeing. Just seeing. Would you do a joint war by chance? He actually will pay me for a joint war. No, he wants me to pay him. Durr. <laughs> yeah, duh. Uh, that's fine. I think we're I think we're gonna bring in Russia, right? I think that's what we decided. I think we already looked at all this and we decided we're gonna bring in Russia. Okay, we're in a pretty close spot to this war. There's my gold. So let's go ahead and then buy a builder, and then we're gonna probably buy some tiles. I think I'm still good building a builder. Because we got a lot to do. So let's get the sugar, because that's going to give us extra amenities. Uh, and then we'll probably go get the jade and the dyes. Also, that's going to give us a little more um, production here. Khmer. Now, the other thing to note is we should have oligarchy legacy here pretty quickly. So we're going to double up on our oligarchy, which is just going to make us amazingly powerful uh, at any war. You go here, grab the sugar. Um... Do I need to buy these tiles? Man, part of me wants to buy these tiles before she can get it. It's not a resource tile. I think I need to. I think I just need to stop her from stealing some of my tiles. It's very unfortunate. It really is. Once again, we could sell that sugar right away. Yo, you go here. How close is our city from going down? Five turns. Come on, baby. There are a bunch of freaking enemies nearby. Hi. Yo, go steal this builder. <laughs> also, there's an encampment. There's where it freaking spawned. Dang it, game. And the problem is it's going to spawn with the spearmen, so our Hathor are going to suffer a little bit. Uh, yo, also, you come down here. Let's get this uh, just looked at real quick. Like, just kind of protect this guy. Okay. We good. Petra, or Peter finished the Petra, I think it was, right? No, library. Yo, I really want that. You're safe. Let's keep going like that. He's also got the scout there, so you're fairly safe as well. You come up here. You go there, skip. And then, um, do we want to just chop this out? Kind of just want to chop this out. We're gonna go chop this one. Is that our best one? The reason I'd want to chop this is so we can get through here a little quicker, but then again, we'll be able to move right through there. Yeah, see, she's got swordsman. Nah. All right, let's go chop you. Just get rid of it. And that might chop it out. How much production's left? About 60. It'll be close. It'll be close. If it doesn't chop it out, it'll be down to like one turn. All right, that gives me that. Alexandra is working a lot of these tiles too. So probably a good idea to go get the bananas and even work the stone right away. Just get our production up here. Because we want these cities to grow and we want these cities to be halfway decent. Right now they're kind of crap. But, you know, I wonder why. Alright, let's go. Where's our other settler? Two turns. Okay. Poland declared war on Scotland. Okay. Okay. That is great. That is actually wonderful for us. So I don't want to go there because I'll probably get attacked. Then again, I have a 36 combat strength, so even if he does attack me, what's he going to do? <laughs> he's got a, he's at 35 compared to my 46. Well, no, no, no. We're not getting the charge because he's fortified right now. So technically, it is a uh, 36 right now to a 35, but he will be attacking me into the forest. That's actually not as good as I was liking. So technically, it's a 39 right now versus a 35. 
That's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. Let's kill you off because we don't want you to run away. And uh, honestly, my whole goal is just to go steal this builder. It's the only thing I really care about. Uh, chop. Yeah, one turn. He put Mumbai down over there. Um, I'm okay with that. That's fine. You come back over here. Okay, we good. I keep telling myself we're good only <laughs> because I don't think we are good. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. How did you run that far away? That actually doesn't make sense because I zone controlled you. You shouldn't have been able to run that far away. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's kind of bad then. Because you got a little further away than I wanted. Let's go ahead and do this. Gain science equal to 25% the unit's cost when non-civilian units created in the city. What? Oh, that's actually really awesome. I don't think I read that before. So you gain science equal to 25% of the unit's cost. So this guy's 100 production, so we'd get 25 free science. Wow, okay, so we're going to exclusively build things in this city then. We need to get your production higher, which is kind of crap because, you know, your production here sucks. But we can buy off a couple of these mines nearby. Although the grassland hills. Eh. 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 It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You need one more turn, apparently. You're going to have the city next turn. Loyalty is not a problem yet, but it will be. But um, we have enough people. Pangea, man. Freaking Pangea, dude. And I think we're going to go settle. Surely she wouldn't put a city here. Surely she wouldn't put a city here. I don't think she would. I think she would lose it. Because she would just have five and then a little less of these guys. Where we would have a bunch of loyalty pressure. So that's why I think our next city should go over here somewhere. One, two, three. It's going to have to be like here. Probably. And then we do want to fill in these other guys, but not yet. And the fact that this has no loyalty pressure right here with Poland right there kind of shows you that there'd be a lot of loyalty pressure right there. Uh, that's the wrong one. The builder died. That's what happened. And I was like, where'd the builder go? Okay. So, that didn't give us error score for settling? Yeah, there it is. I was like, that should have given us error score for being the Delicate Arch. Um, so, because we did it within 5,000 and other civilization. Well, that's only because Mumbai just got thrown down as well. Uh, we probably should be able to grow just as quick, if not quicker. We really want to get some builders popping out here, too. Yeah, because we want to get this city growing just so Mumbai doesn't uh, bypass it. Uh, grab me the builder. Oh, hey, there you go. You only have one charge, though. Dang it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, and then you go eat this up. And you're probably going to attack across the river, probably against the Hathori. And then we're good to go. So you just come back home. We're fine. And then we got our extra promotion. You come up here. And then we're doing charge again, I guess. Maybe we should do at least... You know, let's go this way. I was looking at mar uh, marauding as really, really good. But this might not be the worst thing either. We'll, we'll, we'll switch it up a little bit. You're at nine turns. Come on, want to buy builder here just to chop that out. Ba -da 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 yeah, keep working on this, and then you go work on that. Um, we still would like a couple more cities too. We still would like a couple more cities. Like we want to grab these two cities here. I'm sorry, I'll look elsewhere in the future, and I will. Okay, was not expecting this. Was not expecting this. Are you warning us or what? Well, this is annoying. Yeah, this is annoying to say the least. Okay, all my units need to get your butt down here. We need help. Uh, this is what we get for freaking settling. Uh, can we get a city up here? Yeah, yeah, just get over there. Man, we were all prepared for this other war, and then this war came. Uh, you actually sit right here. I kind of want to steal this guy. I wonder if she's going to put over here. Like, where is she going to go settle over here? 
Oh, she's gonna go settle right there, isn't she? Dang. Can we forget the builder? Give me more Hathorai. Well, this is very unfortunate, by the way. We're very out of position. Um, Everyone come down here. What's the military might? See, this is what I wasn't expecting, because we actually have some pretty decent power here. So I wasn't really expecting or worried about her declaring war, because we were showing a decent amount of power. We also lost Zanzibar. Bonk. So there went our envoys, or our extra uh, uh, loyalty. We do have sugar back. Also, are you mad at me because she declared war on me? That's what it seemed like. Yeah, would you join my ongoing war by chance? I'm pretty sure Scotland wouldn't join either because he's already in a war. Yeah. So we can't get 200 gold. Because what I would like to do is buy Hattori in our city. So he's willing to give me 89 gold. Not exactly what I need. What about 89 gold plus the wine back? Yeah, dang it. What? How much are you going to give me? Can we get like 180 or something like that at least? Okay, we can get 180. This isn't bad. 190. You wouldn't do 200 though, right? No. So 195? So we can get 195. 195 plus 144 uh, is... Okay, 200 would be uh, 344 minus 5 would be uh, 339. 339. You need a Hattori's 400. So we would be able to get a, a Hattori in a couple turns. We could also buy an archer. We don't want to attack out because that's going to lower our uh, defense strength tremendously. Yeah, we're sending her a traitor out, too. That's kind of crazy, because we were sending her a traitor out, and she still said, screw you. Uh, so I want to go to Zanzibar, but I kind of feel like we need to go down here just so we can get our units down here quicker. Because we don't have anything, but it's just going to get pillaged, man. It's just going to get pillaged. Make me gold. Make me gold. We need the gold right now. Hmm... major defeat is the amenities worth anything so this is what I'm thinking about whether or not the amenities are worth anything I don't think so I think we need I think we need to send this to Russia and even though we can't buy our Hattori yet we'll want to soon 195 198 199? Sure. Can you get a turtle in here too? Just tried. So that's 343. We still need four turns, three turns to buy a Hattori. But we're not far. And you guys will, I'll just all need to get down here. Policy reminder. Uh, unit maintenance production towards Cav. Yeah. Nothing else really helps us right this second. Housing production towards Settler. We can get extra gold. Nah, I don't think that's worth it. It's only two gold right now. Russia denounced Georgia. This is good. This is a scary. This is very scary right here. Luckily, you're not sieging the city down. So we can hit you next turn, and we're going to be able to do a lot better. Um, are you kidding me? I don't think archers should get support bonus, but that's a whole other issue. That's a whole nother issue. So you're attacking me across the river. Once again, this is fine. We would rather you stay across the river, so we'll do that. Also, I think we want warriors. Yeah, or do we want an archer? Forget the builder right now. Just give me more warriors. You get your butt down here. Where's our third one? He's up here. Still got a ways to go. Uh, city, go in here. Settle. I shouldn't piss anyone off. Uh, you just build a warrior. Okay, 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 okay. Are we good? 
Maybe? Maybe? Are we great? No. <laughs> we have enough troops, they're just completely out of position. That's our issue right here. We're just completely out of position. Now, what's great about this Everything is this guy's about to die. Iron ore cannot be educated into gold. We want that archer to stay there. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to kill you. And there's our great general points. So the goal, then, is to get you over here and start hitting you. Sounds good. I don't know if you re uh, retreat or not. She's immediately building walls in a city that she just threw down. Come on. Bull crap on that. Bull crap on that. Okay. We're still fine. We're going to get you up here. We're probably going to put one of these guys. And in fact, we might want to put you one of these two in the city. Because uh, it's going to give a lot more defense, uh, de defensive strength to the city. So, we're good. Then you guys get your butt over here, please. We really need these archers because we want to start shooting him as well. And we might be able to make a play over here for uh, Potty. It doesn't have walls either, so there's a chance. There's a chance. Um, so, ooh, we now have uh, the upgraded version. Nice. Nice. We just attacked with you. Frick. Frick. How much is it going to be to upgrade? We can't see because we moved everyone. No. How much is this upgrade? 100 gold. We have 100 gold. So the question is, are we going to buy Hattori or are we going to save it? So, it gets a plus 5 when besieging, and it gives a 50% additional support bonus. So, instead of, like, what is it, plus 2 we're seeing, it would be a plus 4. We do have military tradition, yeah. So, we are getting support bonuses. So, like, what is it? It's plus 4. So, we'd get a plus 8 support bonus. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, we probably want to upgrade this guy, right? And in fact, we might just want to upgrade all these guys. I wish I want to move that guy there. Because we put you back there and then upgrade you next turn. So yeah, just stay there and heal. You're getting your butt down here. Who else needs movement? It's another warrior. We shouldn't have to worry about India because we're friendly with India. So yeah, India's going to be peaceful with us no matter what. Oh, we need next turn because we can grab that. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm glad that we're no threat to you, Russia. Cool. You're shooting me. That's a bit of a problem, but that's okay. Uh, this is a target against Poland because she captured Sterling. I would love to. We just can't. <laughs> Simple as that. We just can't right now. Also, how are we facing loyalty issues over here? Piss off. What? Piss off, game. Piss freaking off. We're going to go blow up this apostle if we get the opportunity. So, we might want to move Amani or someone else. What is the loyalty looking like here? 5.3. Do we need you here? What we'll probably end up doing is just swapping Magnus back and forth. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be our option. You are going to... Um, I think you're going to upgrade here. Because then this is going to allow us to absolutely wreck this guy. You're going to need HP. This guy's getting a little hurt. So the other question is, do we want to swap? Let's do something like this for now. Yeah. Do something like that. Then you're going to get upgraded too. And we're going to start moving you guys down. Then you're going to come back here and you're going to get upgraded. I think this is fine. Uh, we need to probably get walls here. I don't know why you switched off though. You switched back to a builder, which isn't exactly what we want. And honestly, I kind of feel like let's go chop out some freaking cav, man. Like, let's go start doing some chopping. Now, this guy's going to be a lot stronger. 
We probably want to keep him over here, though, just as protection. My hope is that Horseman's going to attack across the river, which is going to be a very dumb idea. Um, we have to keep the amenity at this point. Because I don't think... We're, st we're content uh, everywhere again. Eh. Yeah, I think we need to hold on to it for the time being. So attack across the river is the goal. Yeah, that's what I was hoping didn't happen. Also, that took a lot of damage, this guy. Writing is easy. Writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. So you get just get promoted. And grab Tortoise. Now, the thing is, we don't want to attack across the river. That's just a very dumb idea for us. We'll do this. I think you just need to heal up. I think you just need to heal up for a turn. Um, give me a Hathorai. Seven turns. Ten turns. Seven turns. And go production focus, too, as well. Like, just let's knock those out. We will be able to shoot the horseman next turn. He's not going to be able to... I don't... If he shoots with both of the archers, he might be able to take the city next turn. AI tends to be really bad at doing that, though. Like, doing it the right way. So I think we're going to be okay. You come here and fortify. At least until those walls are done. Then we'll have to change our plan and do something different. We could actually maybe even hit the city. <laughs> it's not that strong right now. And we're going to grab these Hathorai. So our units are finally up to the front now. So we're looking a lot better than we were about five seconds ago. Um, let's see what happens here. Russia declared war on Buenos Aires. So he ran away. Yeah, good, good, good. So what he's doing now is he's going for this guy, I think. But you're about to get wrecked this way and this way. We'll want to hit you here. Do you, are you getting the support bonus? The extra support bonus? We're getting oligarchy. By the way, that's the other question. Do we have... We don't have uh, oligarchy legacy yet. Hmm. We want to do this. You're going to skip. We'll put you here. And you're good here. I don't think you get the support bonus in attacking, right? It's only defending. So I'm a little worried about this horseman coming and wrecking this guy, which is why I think we need to do this. Just put him a little lower. This guy's going to die then. And we will go ahead and let's heal up one more turn. And then we'll probably move out and attack you. You just heal up and you get up to full HP. I think she saw, uh, shot the city. So we basically grinded her to a halt at this point. So we're in a good spot. I need to get my warrior upgraded too. She doesn't have swordsmen. So that's why right now we're doing okay. Now she likes me. All right. We'll run away. So the walls got... It. Oh. Freaking production bonuses, dude. Those walls got instantly finished. So we're probably dead. Yeah, we're probably dead because those walls just got instantly finished. We knew they were coming, but there was it seems a little dumb that they got finished that quickly. Yeah, they got finished a little too quick in my opinion. You just want to kill this guy off? I think so. Let's put you here. Now you're not going to be able to do any damage. And then we'll shoot here. And then you just heal up. You heal up. We're good to go. Uh, what's this damage looking like? A uh, major victory. That's what I want to see. What's this look like? Not a major victory. Let's do this. And then you're going to come here. And then next turn we're going to start hitting these guys. Okay. We're getting there. Freaking getting there. Grind... Grind, grind. You're building... Yep, 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 yep. Mm, this is a Plains Hill, so we will go chop that one up. That's the goal. Also, right now... We really could get iron, but iron doesn't mean anything for us at this point. It doesn't, actually. Let's spend the gold here upgrading you, just to get you another one. We will probably... Man, we almost maybe want to chop this one out now. Freaking walls finished at the worst time. Hopefully he, if anything, he attacks me with the warrior. If he comes out with the horseman, this is going to probably be painful. 
Nah, we'll probably still live, but the problem is being shot too from the walls. I just don't know we're gonna live. He took the warrior at me. We have a shot then. Okay, good, 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 good. Woo! Barely, but we're gonna live. And then you get into the city. And the archer's gonna hang back here just to protect. You're um dumb. And we'll use that promotion then. You're then here to absolutely wreck his life. Let's go. You get back here and start healing. And we want to kill his units off. I hate how little damage we're still doing to these guys. Like, this is just annoying as heck. Because, oh my god. I don't think I realized this. But Oligarchy doesn't freaking help with... The Tori. Seriously? All melee, anti cavalry, and nail. Yeah, it's not. Knights. So that actually kind of sucks for us then. So these guys are actually way better just to attack. Because look at that. 47. Well, okay, you had a promotion. Forget that. Let's look at the. You have a promotion too. Who doesn't have a freaking promotion? They all have freaking promotions. This guy doesn't have a promotion. <laughs> so it's a uh, 36 base strength and then you're getting plus four from oligarchy so technically you're rolling at a 40 right now where the hotori are only at 36 yeah because they have the exact equal combat strength but they don't get oligarchy and quite frankly their uh barding is not nearly as good man that sucks what are the odds that the walls are gonna be done here Doesn't look good Where to use you? You got a promotion. We're gonna put you here. Let's put you there. Cause you can heal a little quicker. And I don't think you're gonna be able to shoot from here. Maybe you're gonna be on a hill. Maybe? Problem is, I'm not going to be able to do it next turn. Can I shoot you from there is the question. I don't think so. Let's just get you out and around so you're a little safer. I could put you right there, but we would be able to get shot. And he would... Um, we want to wait at least one extra turn on that. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. How long has this episode been? 37 minutes. Oh, we got to wrap this up. Okay, well, this has been an interesting episode. I think we're fine. She's at 328 combat strength. I'm not quite sure why. Really not quite sure why. All this was we were going to declare war on Poland, but... <laughs> uh, now we got to make her pay. We also really need to get some battering rams popping out. And I don't know about this builder, actually, too. So these guys are actually strictly better, so let's roll with them. So I think what I want to do is we're going to go here, we're going to chop this out, we're just going to start chopping stuff out. Mm-hmm. I think that's our best bet. Even the extra builder is just going to allow us to chop out more units. This is kind of the key, probably in the next, like, 50 turns. Because if we can take over a couple of cities, we're in a great spot. If we can't take over a couple of cities, we are in a much weaker spot. So, you know, basically, uh, basic. <sighs> and as we... We'll want to get to knights here pretty quickly, too. And in fact, maybe it's just better for us just to rush out knights now. Get feudalism. Alliances? Does alliances help me as much? Because if we rush out night, all our Hattori go from 36 to 48. Yeah, I think we do that. I think we do that. We just have terrible science right now, which is another thing we need to fix. So conquering cities would help. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. This one's definitely just grinding to a halt. I, I think our big issue was... Just the fact our start was not really particularly great. Um, we really needed to take probably... If we would have grabbed uh, Krakow from the get-go, we'd be in so much better of a spot. Because we also would have had a campus. And then just Poland being... Or rather, um, Tamar being over here declaring war on us just didn't work out well. But anyways, hope you guys are enjoying it. I think we're still going to be fine. I think we're still going to be fine because we can just keep popping out units. And that's going to help make up um, any issues that we have. So... So anyways, let me know what you guys think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.